Thomas slept on Huntley Bank and saw a wondrous sight. Riding by the Eildon tree came Lady Everbright. A royal robe as green as grass over her shoulders fell. From tassels on her horse's mane hung sixty silver bells. Thomas straight took off his cap, went down on bended knee. Hail heaven's queen, he cried. But who else could it be? I'm no virgin mother, no. I am the fairy queen. She said, you will be blessed if you will give yourself to me. If you kiss me and you love me, Thomas, fulfill my desire. Your harp will play what your heart would say. Thomas the Rhymer. He loved her in the hollow hill beneath the Eildon tree, and rode with her across wild wasteland and stormy sea. He saw the heavy road to heaven and the easy road to hell. She led him down the middle road, caught up in fairy spell, across a river red with all the blood shed on the earth, to the tree of truth in God's garden, place of his race's birth. She promised him poetry and prophecy. True Thomas will you be, I'll speak what I will speak, he said. We'll see what we will see. When he woke in this world, seven years had passed in fairyland. The blessing of the bard was on him. He held her harp in his hand. Wallace will fall, Bruce will rise, the kingdom will be won. Saxon and Scott will spend a single coin in years to come. He told the future. But his true fame came from the tales he told. No one could sing quite like him of Tristan and Isolde. Tristan loved the promised bride of his own lord and king. Isolde, she loved her Tristan too, in spite of the strife it would bring. They crossed the sea to be together, though each was wed to another. He died in battle for her, she died of grief for the loss of her lover. Two trees on their graves entwined their branches. Now they are free. This is the ballad of the briar rose and the fairy tree. For seven years he was singer and soothsayer all in one. He sang his songs of battles past and battles yet to come. Until one day there came a heart and hound of brightest white. Without a word, True Thomas followed them into the night. Thomas Lermont of Ursuldun, a marvel among men, went out hunting fairy beasts and was never seen again.